Yo, 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 what's up guys? Steven the Salon Guy here and I have a exciting tutorial for you guys today. I've been getting lots of requests for professional football player or soccer player Fernando Torres. Lots of requests. So I'm going to show you guys a really cool tutorial which includes the haircuts and the hair color. He's got that blonde hair color going on now. So I am ready to go. Let's get started. What we're going to do is we're going to start right in through here and we're going to use a three and three quarters guard. And we're going to go about maybe quarter of the way up, just above the ear, because you don't want to go too, too high because it does work into kind of a longer length going upwards this way. So let's take this and follow it throughout the entire back of the head, and we'll stop when we're about right here, all the way around to the back and the other side. On this side, if you notice, I clipped this hair off, so if you do have longer hair on top, you want to clip that off because you want to make sure you have a little bit of length coming down into here because on the top, Fernando has this a little bit longer. So you want to make sure you section that off and it's better to kind of work it in going down this way than cutting it off. So we're just finishing up here on the sides. Let's finish this and then we'll see where we're at. As you can see, we've gone right here with the buzzers. You don't want to go too high up. What we're going to do, we're going to blend this by hand using scissor over comb and we're just going to work this up to where it's about a half an inch to an inch the most in length. So we're gradually going up from here to about right here being about uh, an inch the most. So I'm going to do this throughout this side, the back, and the other side. Now that the sides and the back are cut, we're now going to blend this and start working in through the top of the head going this way. So now what I'm doing is I'm holding the hair straight out and I'm cutting it to where it's about an inch to probably an inch and a half working towards the top back of the head. I'm going to continue to do this throughout the entire back and the corners right in through here. Okay, you want to continue that and then go on this side and through here and we're going to follow the same pattern. What we're doing basically is we're cutting so that this goes shorter into longer because the very front of his hair is where it's longest. So now that we've got that established, we're now going to start to work in through this area right in through here which is now the top back of the head. So again, following the same pattern. We're combing it straight up, and now we're cutting towards the face this way. And what that's doing is that's creating a nice blend going from shorter, which is here, into longer this way. Take a straight section, just like that, horizontal section, and we're going to cut straight that way. So let's continue to do this, and when you're finished, and you have a nice blend in through here, then we are ready to work in through the top right here. Okay, so for the top now, we're going to hold this straight up because we have our guide now, and our guide is going to be what we cut from here going forward. And we're going to hold this right in the middle. We're not going to go into the sides or the corners yet, and we're going to cut it straight across like that. What we're going to do now is we're going to slightly over direct, which means pull back towards us a little bit this way, which leaves the front longer. Remember, we want to leave a little of that length in the front here, and that's what's going to give us that longer look. So you see, I'm pulling it back this way. I'm not pulling it straight up. I'm pulling it back towards me, which is called over direction. And that is what leaves a little bit of length in the front. So we're doing this section by section. We're not bringing this all the way back to one. We are moving forward, but we're bringing each one a little bit further back towards us. To where the very, very front is probably at least, I'd say, four inches to maybe four and a half inches in length right through here. Then what we're going to do now, we're going to comb this straight up like this. And as you can see, we've got everything straight up. Now this might be a little bit long, but I think it actually might be perfect. So now that we have that done, and here's how it looks in the front, as you can see. It comes down quite a bit. What we need to do is just slightly trim this up and blend this in now, working upwards this way. And you can do that doing scissor over comb again. Or what you can do is you can actually come in through the corners like this, and you can see that piece right there that's what you cut off and that rounds off the whole thing. So what I want you to do is to finish rounding this off. Don't cut the front too short because you will lose that length that you worked hard for right in through here. Okay, but what you want to do is you want to make sure that it is kind of blended in and brought up a little bit where this piece ends on the side here. So let's take this just like that on an angle. We're going to comb towards us like this. See how my hand is angled like this? We're not combing it straight in front. That preserves the length, which you want to do. Okay, so here's what it looks like. It's like on an angle this way. Then what you can do is you can actually go back in 
and blend this by hand just like this and we can work upwards like that. But now what we have is we have that whole piece coming around like this, okay, which is how he has his hair. If you feel it needs to be a little bit shorter, then what you can do is you can come in this way. There's that corner right there, and that's where you blend it in, okay? Now it's blended this way. So that when you go back, it all kind of comes down like this, okay? So let's go on this side here. I know this is a lot of information, but I want to I want to really break this down as best as I can for you guys. This side is pretty much done. You do want to have everything blended, obviously. But what you can do is you can come like this and, again, work the corners in and make sure this is all blended going towards the face. The length here on this side probably, I'd say, is about a good inch and a half to two inches. But what this is doing is this is actually going forward and then kind of comes up and around this way. So that's where you need that length right in through here. If you feel it's a little too long, which it might be, again, it's better to have it longer than shorter. Come right throughout this corner here and just cut that off just like that and blend it in. Okay, you don't want to have it too long because if it's too long, it's not going to have any sort of volume to it and it's just going to fall flat. And definitely Fernando has some volume to it. But so it's kind of like a fine line between having it too long or too short. So just continue to where you feel it's good to about, I'd say, three inch, three and a half inches or so on the top of the head. Make sure it's all blended in and it has a good shape to it. What I'm gonna do now is just gonna spin this around for you guys so you get to see what it looks like. If there's any sort of pieces that you need to blend in more, go ahead and blend those in. But here's the length right in through here, as you can see. I'm lifting this all up for you. And let's spin it around. There you go, here's this side in through here. And here's where the front comes. Now the front, what I want to do is just one last bit right into here. I just comb this all straight down, just like this. And I just want to cut that a little bit shorter, right in the front. Not too, too short, but enough so that it's not overly long into here. And it does look a little more natural. And this should actually match up on this side right into here. So what happens is when you br brush this back, You've got that length right in through here, and you can again brush this over and get that volume right in through there, okay? So now, I have another special treat for you guys. I'm actually gonna show you how to highlight this, because Fernando's hair is highlighted. So let's mix up the lightener or bleach. I like to use the word lightener instead, but for those of you that aren't professionals, it is bleach. You do have to be very careful when using that because it is really for professionals, and if you're not a professional, you're doing it at your own risk. But I'm gonna show you guys how to actually apply it so let's get started. Okay, so for the highlighting part of it, this is definitely a lot more advanced. So I wouldn't recommend doing this at home, but if you want to, go ahead and try it. So I've got lightener here or bleach, and I've got a comb. Okay, I mix this with 30 volume, which is gonna give it a little stronger lift because I want that. And always when you're doing this type of thing, you wanna make sure that you have strong enough the volume developer, which is what gives the lightener the, uh, the actual pow the power to actually lighten, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start to apply this and we're just gonna start sliding it in just like that. We're literally combing it on. I mean, we wanna get this pretty solid throughout the whole head just because Fernando has quite a bit of blonde. Then when we're in the very, very front, which is key, we're actually gonna comb this back this way with the product. And when you comb it back, that makes sure it, it actually allows for the whole entire front to be covered. So here we go here, you want the head back a little bit. And now, as you can see, we're combing it back this way. So I'm gonna to continue to do this throughout the entire head. When I'm done applying it, I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. All right, so I just wanna show you the finished result as far as putting the product on, as you can see in through here. There it is, and if you're confused at all or not what sure to do, how to apply this, you can take a reasonable amount of product and just dab it on this, the hair like that and then comb it back, okay? Once you, it, the key is just to combing it back to make sure it's throughout the top layer, which is giving that highlighted look throughout the top, which is still leaving some roots, okay? So we're gonna let this process probably for about maybe a half an hour or so, and the key to this is if your hair is really, really dark, like black or dark brown, you're not gonna get that blonde look 
uh, unless you leave this on for like a couple hours, which then you can damage or break your hair off, and I don't suggest it. So I only suggest doing this if your hair naturally is like a light brown or at least a dark blonde. Here is the finished result while the hair is wet from the highlights. I think it looks great already. So let's dry it and then see what the finished result looks like before we put product in it. Here's what it looks like without any product in it. All right, let's spin this around. I think this looks awesome. As you can see, the side's coming in this way. Goes throughout the back like this. And I think it looks unbelievable. So let's put a little bit of product in it, probably maybe a light paste or something to bring this back. And then we'll be done. All right, so I'm using a light paste to give a good amount of hold here and low shine because I don't want this to be too shiny, but I want this to have a good hold. So. Here we go, working it back to this way. This side, we're kind of combing forward this way. And then we're gonna give that arch kind of right in through here so we get that nice volume coming in around this way. And then we bring this down like this on this side, bring this down on here in the back. And I think this looks awesome. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. I had so much fun doing this tutorial and I really hope you guys get a lot out of this from the haircut to the color technique. Let's spin this around once again. And this isn't, you know, amateur, this isn't for the beginner. This is definitely a little more advanced, but hopefully one of you guys got something out of this. So don't forget to like the video, leave your comments. I love the comments, I see all of them. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time for more tutorials with the Salon Guy. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching my videos. It really means a lot to me. Don't forget to like, leave comments and also subscribe. So as you can see here, I've got celebrity interviews, I've got event coverage, and also more tutorials. So don't forget to subscribe and keep watching.